I made over $100,000 last month from running a few different online businesses. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how I did it so you could potentially do the same. Think about it, time is running out. As each day goes by, it's getting harder for you to escape the rat race. We are already entering the second half of 2024. If you don't take advantage of these opportunities now, there's a chance that you may never see these opportunities ever again. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you my favorite businesses that you can start right now to potentially change your life forever. The first business you can start is selling digital products. This makes me anywhere from 20 to $50,000 each month. A digital product could be like a planner, artwork, journal, course, different things like that. For example, an online cookbook could be a digital product. Now, if you want to start selling digital products, what I recommend you do is first think about things you're passionate about or things that you're good at. Then you could create an online course in this industry. Then you start posting content on social media to promote your course and then you hopefully get sales. For example, I love finance, I'm good with business and so I created courses in this niche and I'm able to sell these courses to my audience. And so if you want to do the same, I recommend you use a platform like Teachable to basically create your online course and then once it's done, you can start selling it. You can easily start selling digital products on Etsy. People are doing it and making thousands of dollars a month. Now you're probably wondering what product can you actually sell? Well, I recommend going on Etsy and on Etsy, you wanna search up planner, notebook, journal. And once you do that, you're gonna see a ton of options come up. And then it's actually gonna show you what is trending on Etsy right now or what is popular. And if you see something that's popular, then obviously it's doing well. And so you can go ahead and recreate something similar and also sell it. Creating your digital products is actually pretty simple. So you can use the software Canva to create it. They have a ton of pre-made templates that you can use. And I recommend you start off by selling maybe five to 10 different digital products to start. And once you get comfortable with that, then you can narrow it down and maybe just sell one. And of course, you're gonna get tons of traffic from Etsy. People are gonna buy your product from there. But if you really wanna scale things up, definitely take advantage of free social media traffic. So post content on all social media platforms and hopefully you'll get even more sales. Let's move on to the next business you can start, which is print on demand. How this works is you get to sell custom products without having to hold any inventory. So all you have to do is create an account with Printify, which basically allows you to customize custom products and then be able to sell those custom products on your own online store. And the best part is if someone comes on your online store and purchases your product, Printify essentially just creates the product right away and ships it out directly to your customer. So you don't have to worry about anything, no inventory, no management. You just have to create a nice website with a nice custom product and promote it to people on social media to get sales. And you can design any product you want, a t-shirt, mug, hat, but I think the best product to design and what sells the best is custom artwork. So many people are doing this, making thousands of dollars a month, and it's pretty easy to set up, could take you just a few hours. And I wanna show you exactly how you can set this up literally now. So first, create an Etsy account. This is where you're gonna basically sell your product, and then also create your Printify account. And here's where we're going to actually design the custom artwork. Now, as for the canvas or the artwork you're gonna sell, you can pretty much pick any design, but I recommend just going on Etsy, searching up artwork and trying to see what's popular or what's trending now. For example, sunset artwork does really well. And so I could just make this and sell it myself. Now to actually create your custom artwork or your design, it's actually really simple. You're gonna use this website called Dali. So essentially you're gonna use AI to create your artwork. So on Dali, basically just search for the image you want or describe the image you want. And then within a few minutes, it's going to create that image. So you can essentially get unlimited designs with Dali, which is pretty cool. So once your design is ready, you can just go ahead and upload it to Printify, finish your canvas, and then you can actually start selling it on Etsy. And of course, if your artwork is good, people on Etsy are gonna buy it. And it's so simple, so easy to manage. Literally Printify takes care of everything. They're gonna ship it out directly to your customer. So you just need to focus on marketing. This is very similar to a business model called dropshipping since you don't actually have to worry about inventory and dropshipping is exactly that. I also do have a full tutorial on my channel about how to start dropshipping if you were interested in that. So I'll leave that tutorial in the description. You can also get a completely free pre-built Shopify dropshipping store. This is a huge opportunity that I'm able to offer. So if you also want to get that, it's linked in the description. Let's move on to the next business you can start, which is affiliate marketing. I make over
over $50,000 a month with this business and I truly believe it is one of the best out there. Affiliate marketing is essentially when you promote a brand's product or service with a unique link you're given and if someone clicks on your link and signs up, you get paid a commission. If you want to start affiliate marketing, I highly suggest you look into Pinterest affiliate marketing. This is the easiest option for beginners as you don't have to show your face and all you really need to do is just post images. So first step is just pick a niche, something you're interested in. Then once you have your niche, you can start looking for affiliate links. And once you have that, start looking for high paying affiliate links. You can find high paying affiliate links by just searching for them on Google, or you can use impact.com and clickbank.com. Then the next step is to start promoting your affiliate links. Now, if you're just going to use Pinterest, it's pretty simple. You just have to post content, but you can also look into running Pinterest ads. Here's my personal Pinterest account. As you can see, I have a ton of followers. I've been using this to make thousands of dollars a month with Pinterest. I also have another Pinterest account that I can't reveal, but I also use it to make money with affiliate marketing. Honestly, all you have to do is post anywhere from three to five images every day that promote your different affiliate links. And you can create these images using the software Canva. It's super simple to do. Usually it takes around like five to 10 minutes to create two to three pieces of content. So as long as you're posting consistently, you should start to make money from this. And I do have a full Pinterest tutorial on my channel that you can check out if you're serious about starting this. I'll link that video in the description. And if you are serious about affiliate marketing and you wanna actually start it and learn exactly how I'm making over $50,000 a month from it, I'd love to have you join my brand new affiliate marketing course. This course goes through literally everything you need to succeed. My students have loved it so far. I'll link the course in the description if you wanted to join. Now, one more thing I wanna highlight with affiliate marketing that is extremely important is having a custom website. The purpose of this is to showcase all your affiliate links and look more legit. Now, if you want to create a custom website, you can easily do so with Hostinger. Hostinger is my go-to for a variety of reasons. One is their affordability, literally less than $4 a month. Another great thing is their AI website builder allows you to create a website within a few minutes and you don't need to have any technical skills. All you have to do is enter your brand name, select your website type, then describe your business and then AI will basically create your website for you. After this, you can customize your website however you like with their drag and drop feature. They even have an AI writer tool that can help you write SEO friendly articles. You can get all these AI tools, a free domain, 24 seven customer support, and a bunch of other freebies for such a low price. And you can even use code side income 10 to get the Hostinger business plan, which is what I recommend since it has all the AI features included that I mentioned for only $3.99 a month. Plus you get three months free. So click on the link in the description to try Hostinger and claim this deal. You can also use this link here, which I'll have on the screen. Definitely don't miss out on this opportunity. Let's move on to the next business which is starting an agency. Essentially, as an agency owner, you can provide a certain service to people and get paid for it. For example, I work with a video editing agency and I send them a video to edit and then I get that video back within three days. Now, how this whole structure works is there's a founder of the agency. This person is in charge of pretty much managing everyone and growing the agency. And of course, the owner isn't actually editing all these videos for clients. He actually has employees that work for the agency and those are the people that are editing the videos. That way, the owner does not have to worry about small tasks. His job is just to manage his team and find more clients so that he can make more money. Just imagine he had 100 clients that were pretty much paying him to edit videos every month, he'd be making a lot. And so at a point where he starts growing, he obviously has to hire more people to work for him and essentially improve his services so that clients are happy and he can continue to expand. Now, if you actually wanna start this, the first thing I recommend is finding a service you wanna offer. I recommend picking something you're potentially good at, whether it's video editing, writing, scripting, whatever you really want. For example, if I want to start this, I would probably start a YouTube management agency just because I'm very familiar with YouTube and I feel like I could help people start and grow their channels. And of course, you want to make sure you budget when you start your agency, see how much you need to hire people or how 
how much it's going to cost. I think if you're just starting out, you can probably do everything yourself, so you don't really need to spend any money. Next, figure out how much you're going to charge for your services. I recommend just looking at what others are charging and do something similar. Next, you want to pick a business name that represents your agency. Once you do that, create a nice website. And of course, you can use Hostinger to create your website. And next, you want to get on social media and start marketing your services. Post content on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. And if you're not sure what content to post, I recommend looking at what other agencies are doing, what content they're posting, and then you can do something pretty similar. And another good way you can get clients is also just by sending emails to people. For example, if I had a YouTube management agency, I would send a ton of emails to different YouTubers and explain to them what I can provide, what services, and essentially how I'm going to help them grow their channel. You know, if they're interested, of course, they'll respond back to me. So this is another great way to do it. But you want to make sure in the email you highlight how you're an expert and how you're actually going to help them. Because if you don't do that, then they're probably not going to work with you. And once you have your first client, just make sure you keep them happy. You're doing everything you need to do. And if the first client is happy, you can find another client, then another one and continue to scale your agency. Your main goal as the owner of the agency is to hire the right people and continue to scale your business. This is not an easy business, but it's definitely great. If you do it right, you can make a lot of money long term. Now let's move on to next business, which is freelance writing. Writing is the most important skill anyone can have. I write a ton every single day. Now the best part about freelance writing is it's extremely simple to do, especially with the help of AI. Now as a freelance writer, you will be expected to write blogs, articles, different types of scripts, marketing content, and so on. For example, I could hire a freelance writer to help me write YouTube scripts. And of course, you don't actually have to write all the content yourself. You can use ChatGPT to help you out. As we all know, ChatGPT is amazing. It can write tons of content for you within a few seconds. So to actually start making money as a freelance writer, you have to market yourself. You have to get people to know about you. So what I recommend is you post about yourself on Fiverr.com and Upwork.com. There's a ton of freelance writers on these platforms, basically letting people know that they will write content for them. So go ahead and look at what other people are saying on Fiverr and Upwork, how they're basically marketing their services, and you could do something very similar. So once you advertise yourself on both platforms, the next step is to just wait until you get your first client, which can take some time. You may want to sell your services for a cheaper price than your competition, just so you can get your first few clients. But with experience and time, you can start to charge a lot more. Another way you can get clients, of course, is by marketing your services on all social media platforms. If you really want to get the ball rolling faster, that's what I recommend you do. This business is honestly a no brainer. I feel like there's so much demand for it. So definitely try it out if you're looking for something that can make you six figures per year. Now, I just shared with you my favorite businesses that you can start right now. It's important that you figure out which business is best for you to start and then go all in on it. Now that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.